Welcome back to Le Mans here in France for the second of our four finals this afternoon. This is KZ2, the second round of the European Championship for them. And it's been, well, an interesting weekend to say the least so far after Matthew Vigano, the factory Tony Kart driver, won the first round of the series at Genk in Belgium, an event that was dominated by the factory teams. It's been the fight of the underdog here at Le Mans this weekend. Alessandro Pellizzari taking pole position in qualifying on Friday evening. He starts to the left of your screen on the outside of the front row. And Paolo Ippolito in the LKE-powered Lenzo Kart starts this one on pole position. We may cast our minds back 2015 when we had the KZ World Championships here at this circuit. We also had the KZ2 International Super Cup. You may remember that the driver who won that day driving a Tony Kart from France was Thomas Laurent. Just two weeks ago to the day, he finished second in the Le Mans 24-hour race and actually led the race itself driving an LMP2 car. I guess an analogy is that's like a second division football team almost winning a cup final. It was an absolutely sensational event. He did the world of karting proud. Of course, he won the KZ2 International Super Cup here two years ago and two weeks ago was on the podium. He did finish second outright for the Jackie Chan Racing Team. So let's have a look back, the highlights of his race here two weeks ago and also on the podium here at the Le Mans 24-hour race 14 days back. In 2015, Le Mans hosted the KZ World Championships and the KZ2 International Super Cup. The winner on that day was the French driver Thomas Laurent. And just two weeks ago, he claimed a sensational second place in the legendary 24-hour race, even leading the final stages in an LMP2 car. Twice on the podium in two years in two different events, Laurent is on his way to becoming a Le Mans legend a result of which much of the credit can be given to his outstanding career in CIK International Karting. Congratulations, Thomas. Certainly Thomas Laurent picking up a lot of fans a few weeks ago. Many of his fans, they were already following him because he saw his performance on this very circuit two years ago, winning the KZ2 International Super Cup. You just saw some highlights of that magic day a few moments ago. The magic is set to continue here at Le Mans. Second round of the Euro Champs for the KZ2 category. As we mentioned, Paolo Ippolito from Tuscany in Italy. Powered by an LKE engine, Driving the Lenzo cart, that's him on the right of your screen to start this one on pole position. Of course, Lenzo cart having won the 2011 World Cup with Joey Hansen some six years ago now. Joey can't quite believe it himself. He's actually working as a mechanic here for K Van Berlo, racing in the KZ2 category. He's countryman. Vigano, who won the first round of the series. He starts this one out of grid number four, the second row of the grid. And leads the championship coming into this, Le Mans. The second round of the KZ2 series. Just a few moments away from the start. Another driver to look out for is Alex Irlando, starting on the sixth row of the grid. He's been super aggressive this weekend. Super quick. Could well take the win even from that far back on the grid. Seventh row of the grid is also pretty impressive. Tom Luay in the 306 Soddy cart. And Martin van Leeuwen, the Dutchman, in the 327 Energy cart. 
front row of the grid, Lenzo Kart and CKR, the team run by Carlo de Bay. Pole position on Friday evening. The track is dry. The rain has passed, but it's certainly still quite cool here in Le Mans. The green flag flies and we push these carts into life. We're ready for a 22 lap, 30 kilometre final here this afternoon. So Ippolito from Tuscany in central Italy for the team run by Michele Lenzo, the Sicilian team in fact. Their boy starts this one on pole. Pellizzari right behind him, the fastest qualifier. Pellizzari through the heats was quick but did not get off the line well. He needs to improve that off the start this time if he is to have any chance here this afternoon. Second row of the grid, Matteo Vigano and Paul Fontaine. And the first of the dynamic Dutchman, Max Tubin. There he is on the third row of the grid alongside Rokas Bachuska. The Lithuanian actually took a heat win in the CPB Sports Audi Cup. Fourth row of the grid, Leon Kohler, who dominated all but the final in Genk. Adrian Renaudin, Francesco Cialenta, and the driver from the eternal city of Rome, Francesco Iacovacci. Gonzalez, Irlando, Lue, Van Leven, Alessio Piccini, Max Paul from Dresden in Germany. Lorenzo Giannone in another of the KR cut starts out at 17. Look out for the Swedes, there's Dahlberg, Tornquist, also Axel Bankston coming from grid 28. Petra Patacek scrapes through into the final in the Formula K cart, as does the Greek driver Fotis Sotiropoulos in the 396 Evo cart on the final spot of the grid. Greece which in Recent years has become quite famous for the Patras Street Race. Fotis from the north of Greece scrapes into the final by a single point. Lines up on grid 34 alongside Hubert Petit, the French driver in the 329 Saudi Cup. They work the Bridgestone tyres on the back straight. Formation lap here at Le Mans. This should be an absolutely cracking final. The last time we had an international race here at Le Mans for KZ2 was the International Super Cup with Thomas Laurent. Who will take the chequered flag in 22 laps time? We are about to find out. Ippolito to the right of your screen on pole position. Pellizzari to the left of your screen needs to get off the line. Right behind him, the championship leader, Matteo Vigano. The field falls into position. There's Petra Patacek in the bottle green Formula K machine. Sotiropoulos pulls into position and cut. Number 396, grid number 34. We're ready for a start. Green flag flies from the back of the grid. A brilliant start off the line by Paul Fontaine, but he's got nowhere to go. Indeed, this time, Pellizzari does get the launch right and leads down into turn number one. Adrian Reno then is pushed very, very wide. Matteo Vigano up into second place. Paul Fontaine rocketed off the line, but he was boxed in, perhaps expecting Pellizzari to show true to form colours. This time, no, Pellizzari launched it off the line. They've been watching him all weekend. He outfoxed him himself this time. The Italians run one and two. Vigano in second spot. Up the back straight they go for the first of 22 times. Ippolito in P3, so the Italians running one, two, and three, in fact. Vigano in the factory Tony cart. 
in the slipstream now the CKR machine they've already completed their first lap Bigano in the slipstream of Pelizzati can he take the biggest win of his career here this afternoon it's a long way to the checkered flag but he's currently doing everything right Vigano though he looks menacing they go through the triple right hander still not maximum temperature in those Bridgestone tyres you can see how nervously Pelizzari is treading through the corners over the ripple strip through the chicane Vigano under pressure from Ippolito Max Tubin the Dutchman, that's him in the CRG running in P4, closing in on the back of the three Italians in front of him. We've got five different manufacturers in the top five. They all go defensive. The CKR leads the Tony cart, leads the Lenzo cart, the CRG, then the Soddy cart of Rokas Bachuska. The second Tony cart of Leon Kohler, the German. As Vigano goes down the inside, the Italian straight places. Pelizzari almost was expecting that you could sense because as soon as Vigano got past him, he ducked back on the inside to close the door to Ippolito. Tubin has a look at the back of the Lenzo cart, but Chusko up the inside of the CRG. Can't make the move though. And he's actually lost one, two spots to Fontaine and also to Leon Kola. The German, don't discount him, coming from a long way back and taking the lead. He's already up to position number six. He qualified on pole in Genk, took three heat wins, finished fourth in the final. Ippolito goes to fence him. He has to, because Pachuska is all over the back of him. The Soddy cuts go side by side. Oh, they gave each other room. There had it been another driver. The result might have been quite different. Vigano, look at the driver from Milan in Italy. He's already put seven tenths of a second over the rest of the field. The CKR cut of Pelizzari runs in P2, then the Lenzo Cup, the team from Sicily in Southern Italy. They're running third. Pachuska, the Lithuanian, the first of the Soddy Cups. They're running four and five. Tubin's back in sixth spot. Head of Cola, Jacovacci, Piccini, and Alex Irlando rounds out the 10. You can see down in position number 13, Simone Cunati's had a great start. The Italian as Bochuska does can now go up the inside of the Lenzo cart. The Lithuanian in the Soddy cart and now up into P3. Simone Kunati has actually made up 11 positions. Spent much of last year racing in the Italian F4 Championship. Great to see him here racing KZ2 this weekend. From grid number 24, he's up into 13th place. Behind Tom Luay, ahead of Nico Gonzalez and Enrico Prosperi. Martin van Leeuwen, the Dutchman, he's had a shocking start. He's back in 17th spot. One ahead of Adrian Renaudin, who you saw got pushed wide on the opening corner. As they go through the chicane for the fifth time. Four laps having been completed here at Le Mans. You get the feeling that the cart of Pelizzari is now starting to come on after a few laps. He's actually taken a tenth of a second out of Vigano that time. But Rokas Pachuska is looking good in P3 in the Soddy cart. He's already put three cart lengths over Paolo Ippolito. Pachuska slides up wide in the slipstream now off Pelizzari. The field stream down the straight here at Le Mans. Vigano, six tenths of a second. It was out to eight tenths earlier on. Pelizzari, though, is he going to challenge Vigano? Or will it be the driver right behind him from Lithuania, Rokas Bachuska? The best we've seen him perform in quite a while. Driving the Soddy cart, absolutely superb here at the moment. I grab another gear, sixth gear up the back straight. There is the Lithuanian, that's a passing opportunity, but he was too far back. They come across the line to complete lap number six here at legendary Le Mans. Cooler goes through in the KSM Schumacher Tony Kart, the German. He's in P6, having got past the Dutchman, Max Tubin. The CRG was running third earlier on. But Tubin's now back in seventh and under pressure from Alex Irlando, who's one of the most ruthlessly aggressive drivers in world karting when it comes to making a pass. The Soddy Kart team pilot into eight. There he is, there's Alex. Right ahead of Alessio Piccini, Francesco Iacovacci. 
as Pachuska goes down the inside. This time the Lithuanians into P2. Pelizzati loses two places in one corner. Ippolito puts the Lenzo card back into P3. We take a look at the replay into the velodrome hairpin. Pachuska lined him up for two laps prior and then at the right time just went that bit later under brakes. The Soddy cut now up into second. Another Soddy cut going very, very wide. That was Paul Fontaine. He loses a couple of spots, including one position to his teammate. Alex Irlando goes during P7. The gap is nine tenths of a second between the race leader, Matteo Vigano, who goes through in the Tony Cut to Rokas Pachuska. Paolo Ippolito rounds out the three. Then it's Pelizzari. Kula from Frankfurt. He's in P5. Tuben, Irlando, Fontaine, Piccini, still Jacobacci. Holds down P10 ahead of Lue, Simone Cunati, Gonzalez, Francesco Talenta, and Enrico Prosperi rounds out the top 10. You saw Tubin in the CRG running very wide at the end of the back straight. They come onto the straight. Start finish line. 147 kilometers an hour before breaking down into turn number two. The third gear, left hander. Up the infield section, 116 k's an hour before turning right. They turn right, they turn right again. Almost getting dizzy before going left. And through the chicane, Pelizzari under pressure from Leon Kula. Tubin goes through. Right behind him is Alex Irlando, Piccini, Jacovacci. There's the Dutchman, Dylan Davies, head of Thomas Lude, Lande, Hubert Petit, Tornquist, Evre, Skaris, Sotiropoulos, the Greek driver. He's already made up 10 spots from the back of the grid. He's in P25. Pachuska lets the car drift onto the straight. The gap is one second. The field stream down the straight. They start lap 10 off 22. Now we've got a battle for the second round of the European Championships here at legendary Le Mans. Pelizzari manages to hold off Kula for one more lap. Can the German get through on the Italian? There he is. Remember, he took pole position at Genk in Belgium, the opening round of the series. Took three out of four heat wins. Finished fourth and was disappointed with that. He's running fifth. At the moment, trying to make the move on the pole seat of the fastest qualifier. Pelizzari from Ferrara in Northern Italy. Pachuska grabs another gear. He cannot shake Ippolito. Ippolito, will he make a move down into turn number two? Up the inside, the Italian retakes second spot. The Lithuanian pushed back to third. Brilliant racing here at Le Mans. They did not touch as they went under brakes into turn two from 147 kilometers an hour. Class racing here at Le Mans. We take a look at the replay. Ippolito, he thought about it. He pulled back in and at the last moment, he did go through. The Lithuanian gave him room. They did not touch as clean as you like. The Lenzo cut now back in second spot. Can he have a go at Vigano? The gap is 1.2 seconds. The Soddy cart still runs in P3. Then it's Bellizzati, one step off the podium. Kola, the German in fifth, starting to lose pace a little bit with the CKR machine that's running fourth. Vigano, he's put another three tenths of a second over the rest of the field. The gap is 1.5 seconds. Although to be fair, that passing move would have cost him just a little bit of time on that previous lap. They go up through the chicane. Simone Cunati in the top cart. Ironic, he's running for the team that Matteo Vigano raced for last year and actually won the last year of the Euro last round of the European Championships at Genk in Belgium in 2016. Cunati now just outside the top 10, running in behind Paul Fontaine, Alessio Puccini, Tom Louay after only qualifying 63rd in the rain on Friday night, has worked his way up through the heat, up through the field. The Frenchman is now running in P9. Vigano, the gap's come down a little bit. So Ippolito took two tenths of a second out of his countrymen. 
Pachuska in third for Sodicard. Started out of grid number five. This would possibly the, be the best result of his career, a podium at the European Championships for the Lithuanian. If he can hold on, certainly at this high a level of competition. Some 73 KZ2 drivers entered here this weekend. And Ipolito has dropped off a little bit. And he takes one tenth of a second out of Vigano. So now the race with nine laps to go. The question is, will the Italians fight amongst themselves? Look at the gap already between Ippolito in the Lenzo cart and Batchuska in the Sodi cart. It can change with a click of a finger. One miss gear, one corner break too late. And he'll be right back on him. But certainly he has just on sheer pace pulled away from the Lithuanian that time. The rest of the field spectacular through the chicane. Up the back straight they go. There's Vigano. Ippolito grabs sixth gear, breaks down into third gear. The sweeper. They come onto the straight at more than 100 kilometers an hour. Fifth gear, they grab sixth right about there. 147 kilometers an hour down into turn number two. The gap has come down one more tenth of a second. Paolo Ippolito in the Lenzo car, driving for the team from Sicily. They won the World Cup at Genk in Belgium with Joey Hansen back in 2011. Can they win a round of the Euro Champs here this afternoon? Paolo Ippolito from Toscana in Italy. It's a big job to catch the factory Tony car driven by the championship leader from Milan in Italy, Matteo Vigano. Up the back straight, grab another gear, very aggressive with the gear changes, is Ippolito. He's looking at a podium, he's looking at a potential win here this afternoon. The gap was 1.1 seconds. It remains as such. But Chuska Pelizzari still lay on caller in P5 for KSM Schumacher Racing. German in P5, Irlando is in 6th, Max Tuben, Jakovacci has moved up into 8th in the 2nd of the Lenzo carts. Tom Luay in ninth, and Alessio Pacini, another driver from Toscana, ironically enough, rounds out the 10. Time is running out though for Ippolito. Pelizzari looks behind him, the German closes in on the brakes. Leon Koller. Tony Kart's running 1, 5, and 10 at the moment. In second, the Lenzo Kart. Powered by the LKE engine. Let's not forget that. There's not many of them out there, but wow, they are a quick power plant. Proven by the fact they're running second here this afternoon. Vigano just as the fastest second sector of the entire race. The gap is exactly one second between himself and the, his countrymen, Paolo Ippolito. At the legendary Le Mans, the circuit which hosted the 2015 World Championships. Indeed, Le Mans has hosted the World Championships in total four times. 1978, 1983 and 1991, as well as two years ago. Hosted Le Coupe de France, the French Cup, just three weeks ago as well. One of the finest kart racing complexes, obviously one of the finest, most famous motorsport circuits on the planet host circuit for the fourth event of the european championships here this afternoon this is le mans in france five laps now remain for the kz2 final the gap goes out slightly that time matthew vigano on his way to winning two in a row to be honest he did not start the wsk supermaster series so well he was back in 15th 18th positions was not comfortable, was not happy. Open the European Championships, round one, win. Second round, four laps to go, and he leads by 1.1 seconds over this man, Paolo Ippolito. The Lenzo car, powered by the LKE. Still the Lithuanian, Rokas Pachuska, in P3 in the Sodi car. 
three different manufacturers in the top three, three different engines in the top three. The Vortex, the LKE, the TM runs third. It was Alex Irlando closing in on the back of Leon Cola. The 302 Soddy Kart. The Soddy Kart factory team. Founded in the early 80s, situated not more than 100 kilometres from this circuit. The gap, still 1.1 seconds. Pachuska on the podium. Pelizzari, the fastest qualifier. He won a heat of the WSK Super Master Series. He won the WSK Night Edition event at Adria Karting Raceway in 2016. He took pole on Friday evening, but currently he's not on the podium. The gap between himself and Pachuska, 0.2 of a second. Closes in under brakes that time, may have actually gone a little bit wide. Puts the power down, grabs another gear, 114 k's an hour right there before braking into the triple right-hander. One point one seconds, still between Vigano and Ippolito. Just two and a half laps remaining. He would almost put a lock on the European Championships if he can hold on here for another two laps. The driver from Milan in Italy, the three zero one factory Tony Kart. I can't see Ippolito catching him. To be honest, he's doing everything he possibly can. The Italians running one and two, the Lithuanian in third. The gap stays exactly 1.1 seconds. Alex Irlando in the Soddy cart. On the back of the German, Leon Kola. The KSM Schumacher racing Tony Kart runs in P5. Can Irlando get past him? Certainly very close to the back of the green machine. Alex Irlando through the chicane they go third in the European Championships last year. The driver from Bari in southern Italy runs in P6 behind the driver from Frankfurt in Germany. Pellizzari, oh, Cola, spectacular under brakes. The thing was locked up like a WRC rally car as he slammed it down from six down into third gear through the left-hander. This is the final lap of the race. Vigano, though, what's happened to Vigano? We're looking at Ippolito on screen. What's happened to Vigano? Off screen, something has happened to the race leader. We're looking on the timing screen. Ippolito has taken the lead. Vigano is out. Vigano is out. What has happened to the factory Tony Kart driver? It happened off screen. Vigano, after dominating, has retired on the final lap. Can you believe it? Ippolito's going to win. This is incredible here at Le Mans. Matteo Vigano is out. Paolo Ippolito can't believe it. The driver from Tuscany in Italy takes the win here at Le Mans in the Lenzo Kart. A sensational finish. Vigano did not finish with a lap to go. It happened off screen. Ippolito has won. Pachuska is in second. The Lithuanian and Pelizzari has finished on the podium. It looked like it was going to be two from two for the Italian in the green machine. Something has happened to Matteo Vigano in the factory Tony Kart with 1.3 kilometers to go. He's out. Matteo Vigano did not finish. And Paolo Ippolito says, Merci beaucoup, j'ai gagné. I have won in France. Paolo Ippolito for the team from Sicily. What a sensation. The gap was 1.1 seconds. It was as they came across the line to get the last lap board, Vigano retired. We're still trying to find out exactly what happened to the Milan driver. Ippolito <laughs> doesn't care either way. Pachuska has come through into second place in the Soddy cart, and Pelizzari has taken third for the CKR team.
What a turn up here at Le Mans. Just sensational. Commiserations immensely. He did everything right. Matteo Vigano, he dominated the final. But joins Gonzalez, Totiropoulos, Max Paul, Lorenzo Giannone, Alex Dalberg, and Nicolas Pico as the seven retirements in this race. And he did deserve better. Look at that. Classified 28th and one lap down after dominating Matteo Vigano does not win and not only that that will do huge damage to his championship after it looked like he was going to lock it up here this afternoon there he is Matteo Vigano can you believe it coming back on the recovery vehicle here at Le Mans one lap from the checkered flag he must be absolutely devastated the podium in the background he was looking to stand on top of it Oh, commiserations to Matteo Vigano, absolutely distraught. Devastation for the green team. He deserved better than that. Certainly deserved better than coming back on the recovery vehicle here this afternoon. Paolo Ippolito, though, gives some credit to the winner. He has won at Le Mans here this afternoon. Vigano, absolutely distraught, doesn't even lift. The visor on his helmet does not want to let alone take his helmet off. Can you imagine the emotion for the driver from Milan? One lap from glory does not finish. There's the podium. We will see a delighted driver from Tuscany on the top step in just a few moments. Commiserations immensely for Matteo Vigano on the back of the recovery vehicle. What can you say? He deserved better than that. We will see him back for the final round of the series, though, at Kristianstad in Sweden in one month's time, where he will fight for the title. It certainly put Ippolito right in contention for the 2017 championship. The Sicilian team, Lenzo Kart, congratulations also to Michele Lenzo. His boy, Paolo, absolutely ecstatic as he crossed the line. Also, Rokas Pachuska, second place for the Lithuanian. A brilliant result for him. A podium in the European Championship. And congratulations also to Alessandro Pelizzari for the CKR team. Fastest qualifier and third here this afternoon. Stay with us live on CIKFIA.tv. We've still got two, po two races to go this afternoon for the junior and the OK categories. In a few moments, the podium for KZ2 live from right here. Le Mans in France.
celebrations to Matteo Vigano secure a Absolutely. After dominating the final here this afternoon, one lap from glory, one lap from taking his second checkered flag in a row. Paolo Ippolito doesn't mind. He takes the win. A sensational victory for the Lenzo car team. The driver from Tuscany in Italy has won here this afternoon. He will be absolutely delighted when he joins us on the podium. Here at Le Mans in just a few moments' time. Congratulations also to the Lithuanian Rokas Batuska and the fastest qualifier for the CKR team, Alessandro Pelizzari. The drivers make their way up to the podium here. The podium here this afternoon, the winner, Paolo Ippolito. Rokas Pachuska and Alessandro Pelizzari. We can see the smile from here. Paolo Ippolito, absolutely delighted. We can see his smile all the way to Toscany, Tuscany in Italy. He will be absolutely delighted. So the drivers make their way up onto the podium. Once again, commiserations to Matteo Vigano. He will be back for the final round of the series at Christianstad in Sweden. Here they come. The drivers to the top step, this very famous podium here at the most famous circuit in the world, Le Mans in France. Bridgestone caps go on and we wait for the official confirmation. Three drivers up here on the podium and I can see Paolo Ippolito's smile ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, the fastest qualifier in third place here this afternoon. Let's hear it for Alessandro Pellizzari. Second place, the Lithuanian Rokas Pachuska. The smile from the winner is enormous from Tuscany in Italy, Il Vincitore La Banquera, Paolo Ippolito. And representing the winning team, Lenzo Kart, Dario Gallipo. As we stand by for the national anthem of Italy. Podium here this afternoon, the second round of the KZ2 European Championships here at Le Mans in France. 
I'd like to call on Martin Reina, Vice President of the CNK Member Director Committee of the FFSA to present the third place trophy to Alessandro Pellizzari. Monsieur Guy Rivier, President of Ligue Bretagne Pays de la Loire, to present the second place trophy to Rokas Batuska. <laughs> and Monsieur Francois Baudin, President of ASK ACO, Member Director Committee of the ACO, to present the winning trophy to Paolo Ippolito. And also presenting the winning team's trophy to Dario Gallipo of Lenzo Kart. Ladies and gentlemen, the podium here this afternoon. As the girls step in to present the flowers. And we stand by for the champagne. Girls also step in to make a special presentation, the Avio Milano timepieces and the Panther fuel vouchers to third place Alessandro, second place Rocas and the winner Paolo Ippolito. As we step in for a quick word with all three drivers, first of all, Bravissimo Alessandro, hai fatto pole position, un bel weekend veramente, terzo posto oggi, really a great weekend, fastest qualifier and third here this afternoon. Sì, sì, è stato tutto sommato un, un ottimo weekend, siamo partiti con la pole position e anche nelle manche siamo riusciti a ottenere due primi posti, un secondo e un settimo a causa di un po' le condizioni meteo, però... Mi sentivo bene per la finale, forse i primi giri mi mancava qualcosa, ma per il resto andava bene, andava tutto bene. E peccato non essere riusciti a portare a casa la vittoria, ma il terzo posto va bene lo stesso. Bravissimo Alessandro. Second place, Rokas Pachuska from Lithuania. There all weekend, second place this afternoon. You must be absolutely delighted. Yeah, really happy. For, in the final, we by step by step improve it. We make it what we, we, we do best. I want to say my thanks to my team, my family, my mechanic. We, without them, we don't need to see it. Thank you very much. Congratulations, second place, Rokas Pachuska. Incredibile, hai vinto Paolo Ippolito. Racconta la tua gara. Niente, è andato tutto bene. Abbiamo lavorato molto nel weekend di gara. E tutto è andato per il meglio, le manche sono andate bene, le qualifiche, tutto perfetto, non abbiamo sbagliato niente. E quindi ringrazio il mio team, il team manager, il boss Michele Lenzo che mi supporta sempre. E niente, tutto è stato fantastico, mi dispiace per Matteo Viganò che purtroppo ha rotto all'ultimo giro, però le gare sono queste, chi la dura la vince, quindi stavolta l'abbiamo vinta noi. Grazie. Bravissimo Paolo Ippolito, the winner here this afternoon at Le Mans. Rocas Pachusca in second and Alessandro Pellizzari in third place. Two more finals remain here this afternoon. Junior and the OK World Championship class right in a few moments here at Le Mans in France.